Hi everybody, we're back finally. I was actually gone for longer than I wanted to be, but we're, yeah, we're back. Uh, precautions? There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? Yeah, seriously. You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. <laughs> Way to be no. an asshole. No, of course not. That's... That's not what I meant. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit-stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Oh. Uh... Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Listen, I I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Oh, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jaden. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Yeah. Totally. Ugh, I hate you. Okay. Uh, Blake. Strange character, that Blake. Didn't seem too pleased to he see me. Not pleased to see anything. Way too many people here. They're trampling all over the crime scene. Yep. The body is still here. Okay, so basically, what we're supposed to do, we have to put on back on the Ari. That sir shits a lot. Freaking disrupts what it's doing in the first place. Walking in the rain and I just stepped in mud again. No, don't take it off. Harry, comment. The victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. Um, let's look at his face. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. Um, this. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. Less than 12 hours ago. Uh, fingerprints? Or fingers, or hand, or whatever. An origami! A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. Uh... Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. Oh, wow. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. I wonder why. The victim is Jeremy Bowles. Declared missing five days ago. See reference file. And I think that is all we can get off the body. Yes, no, maybe. Okay. The body got scratched when it was moved. There may be more traces of blood around here. Okay, so that's what we have to look for. There's a railroad track near where the body is left. Same as all the other victims. The killer likes trains. Impressive. Seems the only traces the killer left are those he intended to leave. He knew exactly what he was doing. Right down to the tiniest detail. What is that? Oh, I think that's just like the scent leading from his head to there. Harry, come in. Orchid pollen detected. Probably from the flower left on the body. Okay, so yeah, that's what it is. It's going from the tent. No, don't go back to the tent. It's going from the tent all the way back over here. Okay, and there's blood. Whoa! Oh, holy shit! particles crap. in the tall grass. I didn't even it's know that was possible. That scared me so badly. God, is it possible to get hit on this game? Harry, come in. Traces of blood on the railroad track. An analysis confirms it comes from the victim. Why is there blood on the Really, it's over here. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. No cats. 
There's a good chance that they're the killers. Follow the footprints, follow the footprints. Harry Common, there are traces of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. There's blood everywhere. It comes from the victim. Are you sure this wasn't a girl? The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence. Okay, so basically we don't get hit the hint. We have to climb up here and follow the process. Circle, triangle, R1, L1, X, oh god, it's weird. Oh, we made it. Square, I hate doing this part. R1, L1, circle. I feel like we're rock climbing or something. Okay. So we're back up. Are we ready to go again? There's a good chance that they're the killers. Object memorized. Oh no, they're the train tracks. That was like not the train tracks. Harry Car tire tracks. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. We have seen all there is to see. Okay, so basically when he says that. Uh, I think I've seen enough. Better get back to the station before I catch pneumonia. Looks so foggy. Like, I don't know. The game just looks really, really foggy. Uh, uh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think if you just fail those, he just ends up like sliding down. Not sliding down. He ends up like falling down or something. And again. Uh, uh, oh god! See? Oh. Yep. He slides. Because I missed it. God, I'm so scared the train is going to come back or something. That really freaked me out. That's never happened to me before. Squish, squish, squish. Give me your jacket thing. I want it. I'm heading back to the office. You stay. No. No, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too. No, 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 no. Why are you putting those back on? I didn't say put the Ari on. Whatever. We look, we look cool with them anyway. I want to go first. You. No manners. Okay, walk, walk, walk. Ugh. I like getting in my car before he does. I want to hit him. Out of this place. Drive. I think his car is that one right there. Blakes. Yep. Oh, we're done with that part. <laughs> And we're back to Ethan. 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 And we're back to Ethan. He has really big ears. Ah, never mind. Um, a bat? 
A bat. It kind of looks like a fox. A fox. I don't even know what that is. A crab? A crab. Oh. Death? Death. It looks like a grim reaper. Like the... the Death. I don't know. If it said Grin Reaper, Grin Grim Reaper, I would have pushed that instead. 